patient because one thing we know about Kenneth Walker, he is a productive back. He's a very, very explosive back. And most running backs, just like Kenneth Walker, they get better with the volume. When the volume increases, he gets better. When you talk about Kenneth Walker in second half action, if you look at some of his big time performances, that's where he displays the most production because the volume has increased. They have no patience. They got to find a way to be patient with the running game. If you would like to get the best and the most out of your office, especially your quarterback in Geno Smith, because Geno Smith is a guy who's he's at his best when he has balance to rely on. Mm -hmm. So they got to find a way to, ex to, to exercise the mindset of being patient when you're running the football. Because if you get impatient with the running game like they've done, especially in tonight's matchup, to your point, Emery, they're going to be chasing points and trying to fight from behind. And, and here's the, the hidden part of that, too. When you're dropping back 50 times to throw the football 52 times, right. You leave yourself susceptible to these nine penalties that we saw Seattle get. You saw holdings. You saw illegal formation. You saw, uh, you know, two illegal shifts. Mm -hmm. All of that happens because you're throwing too much. When you're running the football, you have little room forever for these for these things. You may get a holding call here or there, but you won't get these procedural penalties that we saw Seattle get. Now you backed up. Now you're throwing a little bit more. So all of that, the snowball just to, starts to roll downhill because you're dropping back 50 plus times. That's 52 attempts on his 34th birthday for Geno Smith. That's, that's a lot of... It's a lot of tiger balls exactly. at the shoulder uh, as age creeps up on Smith here as well. This season has crept up on the Seattle Seahawks. That's now three losses in 11 days, guys. This was a 3-0 and team that people were talking about far differently, and now you find yourself at even 500 following this stretch. Coming up, it's the Falcons, Bills, Rams, and then the Niners again in San Francisco. BMAC, how should I feel about the Seattle Seahawks after this three-game stretch? Uh, it shouldn't feel good at all. There's a lot going on with Seattle, right? We talked about the offense. We talked about the turnovers, the penalties, uh, the inability to run the football. But what about their defense? Their head coach mm -hmm. got the opportunity to be their head coach because of his defensive mentality, what he did going back to Michigan most recently with the Baltimore Ravens. Defensively, in the last three losses, they're allowing 35 points per ball game to the likes of the Detroit Lions. New York Giants, and then tonight, San Francisco. So, yes, we know they're dealing with a lot of injuries. When you look at the first level, second level, heck, in the third level. But you still have to find a way to get the job done. Mike Tomlin, one of his famous Tomlinisms I love to reference, no one cares about your labor pain. Your, you, your job is to deliver the baby. Show me the baby. In the NFL, nobody cares about your labor pain. You got to deliver the baby. So no one cares about all the injuries you're dealing with on the defensive side. You still have to go out and deliver. So that is the one, I guess, one of the more alarming issues with Seattle because Mike McDonald is a very, very smart, intelligent, defensive-minded guy, but we're not seeing that result into consistent production on the defense with the Seahawks. You know, it's crazy when we have synergy because we didn't talk about this at all before the show because me and Joe spoke about this while we were watching the game and BMAC just echoed that point home perfectly when we brought up how certain teams tend to build you know, a roster in terms of a 52. You talk about, I know Leger brings it up a lot. Leger does well. Our colleague brings it up a lot about building out a roster. Mm -hmm. And certain teams, one through 53, are solid. So it doesn't matter if you have a Christian McCaffrey out or Jordan Mason out. Isaac Arundo goes there and runs the football, and the expectation doesn't change. That's another Tomlinism where the standard is the standard. And so with teams like this, like San Francisco, mm -hmm. they will go out there and play whoever's out there because we expect you to do so. And just from a draft standpoint, it's like, man, we have the luxury of, as the NFL, to scoop off or scrape off the top and get some of the best of the best. So, yes, our third string is still a stud, a stud player, so you better go out there and perform. And so there is no excuse for for Seattle, you have to go out there perform. Yeah, I mean, and it's 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 into that depth, which is something we saw out of San Francisco today and throughout this season already. Because let's uh, let's not put lipstick on the pig right now. This is a team that's underperforming to their standard right. in the San Francisco 49ers, even coming off of this win and what they were able to do offensively. It's a secondary that's decimated by injury. They are now thin at the running back position as we'll wait to see uh, what's good with the shoulder of Jordan Mason, who's filled in great for CMC. They have problems right now. 
and that second half problem was maybe remedied on this day. Emery, did they do enough in the final 30 minutes of this contest to make you no longer worried about them closing out when they do inevitably have that two touchdown lead at half? Yes, because one thing they have two two words: Nick Bosa. And, and what's interesting about Nick Bosa? <laughs> zero sacks. Yeah. A hundred percent impact on the game. Everything. Every play of the game, he was the reason why Seattle couldn't do nothing consistently offensively. So as long as he stays healthy, Fred Warner stays, he stays healthy, they'll be fine because that's pressure yeah. at both levels of yeah. the defense. And we saw two rookies get there. We saw Mustafa leave with yeah. an injury, but Green stepped up and played well. Okay, and and so as long as you're able to get pressure and frustrate the game plan, he, Nick Bosa, altered oh, baby, yeah. everything Seattle wanted yeah. to do because they had to get help, they had to chip, they had to shift, uh, slide, uh, you know, protection to one side. They couldn't do what they wanted to do because it was being dictated by Bosa. So Bosa, Warner stays healthy. Uh, Warner stays healthy defensively. They'll be fine offensively. We know it's not plug and play, but it is kind of plug and plug and play. They've been healthy at receiver. They've been healthy at tight end. Uh, use check is still out there. They'll be fine in my opinion. Depth tested and they passed with flying colors. Bryant McFadden, Emery Hunt. We appreciate your thoughts here on the tail end of the Thursday nighter. And you know what Thursday means. Sunday's right around the corner. Join us right here on CBS Sports HQ after a full day of viewing pleasure on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. There's a look at your one Eastern window as the young buck and the reigning MVP will go head to head in Beemore. It's the Texans and the Pats as they get a young quarterback going there as well. There's youth at the quarterback position everywhere you look, including Colts and Titans, Steelers and Raiders. Running back the clock and maybe running up the score? Doubt it. We got plenty of action coming this weekend on CBS. Big night on HQ rolls on. Coming up, I want to be a part of it. New York, New York, heading to the LCS. Reaction from our insider coming next. You're watching CBS Sports HQ. Midnight, good old midnight. This chili's three for me, only $10.99, when fast food is so expensive. It could be because we don't have to pay for any mascots. Please! I was born for this! Please! Never gonna happen! Better know I'm here, Tony. I know the song! Uh, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. He doesn't work here. Three for me means more for you. Get a bottomless drink, bottomless chips and salsa, and the all-new Big Smasher Burger with fries for just $10.99. Only at Chili's. Yeah, new life. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, oh